the Rio Grande. I'm a riding home. I'm a riding home. For the borderland. I'm a riding home. I'm a riding home. Got silver in my saddle. I'll serenade my faithful name, singing a song with a whoop I yo head. While the real man, like I've always planned, I'm a ride home. I'm a ride home. I'm head. While the real man, I'm a ride home. He's as hungry as I am, and you ought to be. It's beyond me. You realize we ain't eaten for 36 hours. I can't go on much further. And would you mind telling me what we're doing out in the middle of this wilderness, miles from nobody, and where we're gone? We're heading for the Rio Grande. Why? Oh, I don't know. Just had a hunch we might find something interesting down that way. You're a funny hombre, Tex. As long as I've known you, I've never been able to figure you out. Yes, sir. Howdy, boys. Say, what's the chances of a couple of hungry fellas getting a bite to eat? Pretty good. We're about out of provisions, but you're welcome to what we've got. Get off. Thank you. That's fine. Hank, rustle the boys up some grub. That Senator Black's herd you're looking at, Ryan. Ah. So well, that's game. It claims to be a pal of the governor. Ah, the grub. Maybe that's right, you old. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheese. My favorite fruit. No? Howdy, old-timer. Who's heading this outfit? I am. My name's Senator Black. What's eating you? We're here to give the cattlemen protection. Huh. Protection from what? Having your cattle stolen? There's a gang operating on this trail. For a dollar a head, my company will give you protection and see you safe into the corrals at Rio. Of course, you don't need to buy this service, but you'll be sorry if you don't. Can't make a fool out of me. Anytime I need protection, my friend the governor will give it to me. Now you hightail it out of here before my fingers get the best of me. I advise you not to draw, Senator. And as long as you're feeling that way about it, we're grabbing your herd right now. You ain't grabbing nothing. 
Easy on your hardware, men. I said easy on your hardware. Now, just what was you boys aiming to do? Ah, uh, we were just playing a little joke on the old man. Now the joke's on you. Is there any reason why your visitors shouldn't be on the way, old-timer? I never saw these scoundrels before today, and I sure have the governor put the law on them. That's all, men. All right, wise hombre. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Maybe we will. Now get rolling and no gunplay, or you'll be the first man I ever shot in the back. The governor will certainly reward you for what you've done. You mind telling me a handle? Now, the boys just call me Tex. Well, Tex, my boy, you've done a great service for Senator Black. Shook the hand that shook the hand of Buffalo Bill. <laughs> uh, what was the deal I took a hand in just now? Well, if you hadn't have butted in just when you did, those saddle bums would have hightailed it with my herd. A lot of that going on here lately. One gang comes along, wants to charge you for a bodyguard. And if you don't hire them, another gang drifts along, and the way it goes, you stop. That's a new one. Well, I reckon we'll be drifting. Well, I want to thank you again, son, for what you did for me. And always remember, you've got a friend in Senator Black. And if you ever get into trouble and need a hand, just call on him. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. So long, Senator. Thanks for the handout. So long, boys. I ain't get this real place, sir. Put up here, boy. Well, how'd you make up with the Senator's herd? Not so good. He's hired a couple of new hands. One's a fast gunslinger. He's kind of surprised us, and it's got me worried. Well, forget about him. If you run across them again, you know what to do. And if they turn up in town, I'll handle them. Oh, I, uh, I just spotted Pop Hart's herd on the other side of the ridge. Now, you take a couple of the boys, drop down, and have a little powwow. He'll probably pay off without an argument, but if he don't, you grab the herd. Run it up the valley and switch to the Arrow Box brand. When you're through, meet me in town. Is it safe to go into town? Why, of course. That ship is powerless. Why, even the best citizen will get them because he isn't doing anything against these trail raiders. <laughs> well, it won't be long before we have them out of there. Now, get going.
Howdy, boys. Howdy, folks. Looks like we're just in time for chow. Sure are, boys. What outfit you in? I'm working for an outfit that every common ought to be interested in. Me and my boys here guarantee safety across the trail. Of course, there's a fee for this service. Stranger? I've heard about your game. Now you get your men and get out of here. Now, wait a minute. I come out here as a friend to lend you a hand. Of course, if you don't want to take it, that's your hard luck. But I'm warning you, you won't have your herd when you've gone five miles. Now, what do you say? Take your hand away from that gun and get him over your head. Easy on your guns, men. I wouldn't want to frighten the lady by dropping you right where you stand. So take it nice and calm and put up your gun. Now, if you gents will clear out of here, there'll be no cause for me to smoke the place up. finding you boys to take up my fight for me. We were outnumbered. Yeah, they're a bad crowd. We've run into them before. I'm afraid they'll come back. We're traveling short-handed. Well, uh, we're not going any place in particular. Maybe we could help to get you outfit into town. That's mighty nice of you, Mr. Uh, now just call me Tex. And uh, <laughs> this is my partner, Kelly. My name is... How do you do? And this is my daughter, Lala. Glad to know you boys. You're just in time for something to eat. Eat? And to think I just filled up on that sun-baked cheese. The 
coyotes gone at dawn. Campfire burns low, love is a glow. Hearts are in tune with the moon. I see in the stars above. That tells me you're mine, my own. Mighty fine, son. I could sit here all night and listen. Thanks a lot, Tex. Did you really like it? We certainly <laughs> did. Somewhere, someplace, I've crossed this trail. I wish I could remember. All right, Dr. Angler, pour me a cup of coffee. I'll be quick about it. Sure. What I can't understand is uh, how this gang of outlaws can keep on operating against the law. The law? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a joke. Well, uh, what about the sheriff of Rio? Can he do anything? Something funny about him. Uh, whispering a little that he ain't on the level. What ground have the people to say anything like that? Maybe because he ain't been able to break up this gang. And I don't mind telling you they're a tough lot. Personally, I like Sheriff Saunders. He's a new man and real. But he's been connected with the law for years. Did you ever meet him? Well, uh, I've heard a lot about him. Where I come from, they think a heap of him. Well, what if I am?
I didn't like you any too much when you tied in with my outfit. Now I like you less. You clear out of here, and right now, there's your pay. Sorry I caused a break between between you and your man, Mr. Hart. Well, he's not one of my regular men. He's a new hand drifted in the other day. I was short and I put him on. I never did care for his action. He's always snooping around. He got just what he deserved. hard. I got to get him into a doctor. Kelly, you and Miss Laurie watch after the herd now until I get back. Oh, Dad. Dad. <laughs> they ought to be in town by this time. Kelly, let's move the herd. I can't stand this waiting any longer. Well, Tex said that we should... I don't care. We can move now. We'll get through all right. All right, Miss, just as you say. Oh, Cookie! Yes, Miss Laura? Pack up. We're going to start rolling. All right. How does it look, Doc? I've removed the bullet. If complications don't set in, I think he might pull through. I've got to get back to, to his daughter now. And she's mighty worried. Uh, I'll see you in the morning, Doctor, and thank you very, very much. Good night. Good night, young man. old man Hart. After I had a run-in with those two that chased you away. So planting you with the outfit wasn't worth much. Oh, yes, it was. The one called Peck just went into town with the old man. And the outfit's moving. Be it, sun up, and we'll hit. Now. I reckon they're 
wagon. They're just having breakfast. We'll circle around and rush them. I'm sorry, Miss Laurie. I'm afraid all our boys are done for. I guess we'd better head into town and find Tex. I think you're right, Tilly. I think we lost our head. Get busy and change that brand. Dad. The doctor said he had an even chance. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey, Kelly, what you doing way out here away from the herd? There ain't no herd, Tex. What? And they got Cookie and the boys, too. Say, they, they almost got me. Took a pot shot at me. But all they got was my hat. I got your old one here in the back. Hey, will you get it for me? I'm Miss Laurie. Hey, Chili will take you into town. I'm trailing that gang. And when I find the herd, I, I'll join you. Oh, Tex, I, I'm afraid they'll... Now, Miss Laurie, you go on into town and see your dad. Don't you worry about me now. But I do, Tex. Well, when we gargle this, we 
We'll go in the side room where we can talk private like. Yeah. Here's to the doggies. About Pop Park's herd. Give any time you give the word. Fine. Enter the buyer from the line. If I make a deal with him, we can run the herd out the back way and make our delivery without anyone ever seeing the herd move. You know, I'm a bit leery about this fellow Tex. He might be a smart hombre and hard to handle. Don't you lose any sleep over him. If he comes to town, I'll have a talk with him. Might be a handy man for us. I know everything you say is true, Senator, but my hands are being gradually tied so that I can't make a move. Who's doing it, Sheriff? Well, of course, I can't prove anything, but my guess is that Ike Travis runs the 5A saloon and controls things generally here. Each time I try to gather a posse and get out after these raiders, I find it harder. The better element in this town are annoyed at me and my office. The situation is growing very unpleasant. Well, I met a young fella out on the trail with a lot of gun courage, Sheriff. I told him when he hit town, to drop in and see you. Quite a likable chap. He calls himself Tex. Tex. Well, I'll consider your offer. And I'll let you know in a day or two. Well, all right, Max. How are you doing, Miss Hart? Mr. Mac, I have a message from Dad. Is the herd on the way in? That's what the message is about. The herd was stolen. When? This morning. The news isn't out yet. Dad wanted me to tell you first. Where is your father? He's over at Dr. Parker's. He was shot. The doctor's afraid he... Well, it may not be as bad as it seems. Of course, your father will have to return the money I advanced him, now that he can't deliver the cattle. Well, that's what makes it so much worse. See, Dad used the money. Without the cattle, we're in a bad fix. Well, you'll have to do something. Unless that herd is ready for shipment tomorrow, I must have my money returned. Now, understand me, Miss Hart. I'm in sympathy with you and your father. But business is business. I'll expect to see you tomorrow. Good day. completely. How's your dad? No better. And if we don't find the herd, it's not going to be so good for him. Will you come and see him with me, Ted? In a little while. I want to pay a visit to the sheriff first. Now, you run along and try not to worry. All right, sir. Travis seems to run things here. He's got all the town people to give him the sheriff. You know, if I'm thinking right, this Travis has a deeper interest than just the saloon. Hey, keep an eye on my back. I'd make a good target in this town. See you later. That's the Cowwaddy, all right. What do you mean, Cowwaddy? Don't you know who that is? Come on, let's get to Travis, quick. I tell you, Senator, if I can't do something about this trail jumping, I'd better resign. Who said resign? Well, hey. <laughs> what brings you down here? You? Heard you was in a little jam. So I, I thought I'd come down and just say hello. <laughs> Looks like you two fellas know each other. This is my brother, Senator Black. Well, this is our bigger surprise in the last election. This is the lad I was telling you about. Boys, trouble? I'm afraid so. Plenty of it. 
What's up? Well, the boys here just pointed out what they call a fresh cow hand, and their ignorance is plumb disgusting. What are you driving at? Well, this fellow takes that you're so interested in, he ain't no cow hand. He's the toughest lawman in this whole state. And if you're smart, you'll clear out of here before sundown. You know, he didn't drift in here for his health. You sure you know what you're talking about? You bet I do. He cleaned out that Raleigh gang, and we thought it couldn't be done. I'm tipping you off, he's dynamite. Travis, you can send me my cut, or you can keep it. I'm playing out of here right now. Hold on now, Cactus. I can handle him. Yeah. I don't want to be around when you try it. And I ain't making out that I'm not scared, because I am plenty. And I'm high-tailing for the border. This might also interest you. That fellow Tex and the sheriff are brothers. What? Brothers? Yes, brothers. And I'm leaving. Now, wait a minute, Cactus. Take it easy. I've had worse things than this. Get yourself a couple of drinks and quiet down. That makes it different. We just got out smarter. Now look, here's what we'll do. I'm telling you, you better let me call on my friend, the governor. You send help down here, and we'll clean up this situation pronto. Uh, it's mighty nice of you, Senator, to offer help. Cleaning up this town is our job. So if you don't mind, uh, hold off from sending for aid. Well, just as you say. But remember, if you need help, Call on Senator Black. All right, Senator. And I'll be around just in case you need me. So long, Senator. <laughs> Say, is he on the level about this governor stuff? I don't know. But if he isn't, he certainly brags a lot. <laughs> well, uh, we may have to call his bluff. Yes, Miss Hart. I want you to meet my brother. Your brother? Why, well, I know Sheriff Saunders. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I didn't think it mattered much. <laughs> uh, by the way, Ed, Pop Hart was shot down last night. And while I brought him into a doctor, somebody jumped his herd. I got a few ideas. I'd like to round up all the men in this town and make them prove where they were last night. You're jumping fast. We got to work fast. This is one herd we can't lose. I just ran into old Senator Black. He was babbling something about bringing in some men to clean up this town. You've got to do something, Travis. This fellow Tex can identify any one of us. You're right. We won't dare move this herd until we get rid of this sheriff and his brother. We've got to do something quick before the government moves in on us. Say, listen. I just saw Red Dugan down the street. Red Dugan? Does that mean anything? You tell him I want to see him. Right. Howdy, Red. Where are you going? Oh, no place in particular. Hey, Travis got a little job for you. What's the matter? Can't you guys shoot straight anymore? Well, it ain't that. But... See, we're sort of well known. I ain't exactly a stranger here myself. That's why I'm pulling out. There's something funny in the air. So uh, it won't hurt you to see Travis before you go. Come on. I needn't tell you how serious it'll be unless the herd is recovered and delivered to Mr. Mack by tomorrow. I'll do everything in my power, Miss Hart. Thanks, I'm sure you will. Well, I must be getting back to bed. You'll be over later, Tex? Yes, Laura. Just as soon as I've had a talk with my brother. All right. Poor kid. I'm worried about her dad. Is it serious? He was hit pretty hard. Hey, Tex! I just saw Red Dugan go into Travis Saloon. He seems to be in a hurry. I think I'll go back and keep my eyes open. Well, yeah. We got some nice citizens in this town. Do you know Dugan? No. Who is he? One of the fastest gunmen in the Southwest. Always keeps in plenty of practice. The money's all right. And the fact he being the sheriff don't bother me none. 
But it just so happened that he's got a brother that did me a pretty good turn. I don't know what part of the country he's in, but if he ever finds out, he'll never give up till he gets me. You've got nothing to fear, Red. This brother isn't within 500 miles of us. And besides, the way we work, he'll never find out. I'll raise that anti a hundred and fix it so that it looks like self-defense. And with us around town, you can make a clean getaway. It'll be easy. I'll take the job, Travis. But if that brother ever finds out, I'm coming back after you. Fair enough. Boys, that calls for a snort all around. Yes. Sure. There's a cow hand over at the Five Aces, and he's crazy drunk. Said to shoot up the whole town. And he's starting on you. I'll be right over. Wait a minute, Ed. You better let me handle this. No, this is my job. Probably nothing to it. Well, you, you mind if I drift along? No. Come ahead. He got the word, and he's probably on his way right now. My men are ready to swear he drew on you first, so don't wait for nothing. The back door to this joint. There's a side entrance. Why? Oh, just had an idea. Here's luck, Dugan. framed up on me, did you? Told me he wasn't here. 500 miles away, huh? Yes, it was a frame up, Saunders. I was hired by... Kill it. Pack him for a hot gun. find a hot iron amongst them. What's going on here? What's happened, Thomas? I'll tell you what's happened, Mr. Hopper. This man here came into my place for the sole purpose of starting trouble. We heard a shot. And that poor fellow here was killed without a chance to draw. Are you sure, Mr. Travis? Positive. How about it, boys? Oh, oh, boy. Just a minute. I'm handling this. I'm still the sheriff here. What's the matter, Mr. You're a sheriff. And we're tired of waiting for you to give us some action. You may as well petition for your removal on its way to the authorities right now. And this murderer here is not going to get away. You either lock him up or we'll string him up. Just a minute, man, just a minute. I'm not afraid of proving my case. And if it'll make you feel any better... All we ask is law and order. And to see justice done. I'm satisfied if Sheriff Saunders puts this man in jail. Then it'll be up to us to see that he gets a fair trial. Hey, wait. You can't do that to my sidekick. <laughs> sidekick, eh? 
then you're going along as an accomplice. Well, well, if it ain't my old friend Ted Carson, then what may I ask is the best Indian agent in the state doing here in our fair town of Rio? Why, I have a bunch of my Indian boys camped out on the hills. We're on their way to the border to track down some renegades. How many? About 20. Why? 20 Indians, huh? Say, Carson, you may be just the man we're looking for. Yeah? Mighty lucky to have this guitar, Chili. Lucky? Didn't think Ed could dig one up. You can't eat a guitar. And I'm hungry. Never knew it was so easy getting in jail. Looks like it's going to be mighty hard getting out, too. Here I sit in this old prison with my partner by my side. I guess we'll die tomorrow. We're on our last long ride. Our enemies surround us. They mean to keep us here. Away from friends and relations and from all that we hold dear. The night is dark and dreary around this prison wall. Though tears and sighs have dimmed my eyes, I hear my loved ones call. St. Peter is awaiting, and the hour of doom draws near. I'm afraid to meet my maker, but my partner has no fear. Now listen, you old buckaroo, take warning by our faith. Cause after you're locked in a jail, believe me, it's too late. My sweetheart said she'd wait for me till they opened up the gate. But the way it looks to me right now, I guess she'll have to wait. My partner, he's a brave old cuss, he never gives up hope. Hung around most everything, but never on a rope. He's doomed to die tomorrow. They say that he's done wrong. I hope that he dies happy. They'll sure miss him when he's gone. How you can sing a song like that gets me. I gotta get a breath of fresh air. This is the key, Chili. Key? Yeah, the key to our cell. Well, 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 what are we waiting for? Wait a minute, Chili, wait a minute. We've got to take it kind of easy like. Friend, Pop had died an hour ago. And for some reason, the sheriff didn't tell anybody that Pop had been shot and his herd stolen on the trail yesterday. And a fine sheriff we have. I say wait no longer. Let's recall him before he causes any more death. Gentlemen, just a minute here. I have something to say. The man you arrested last night and who's in jail now is the man that you want for the murder of Pop Hart. He stole the cattle. Some of my men heard him bargaining for their sale in the saloon last night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, you must listen to me. That isn't true. Tex Saunders didn't shoot my father and steal the herd. He was trying to help us. Tex Saunders? Oh, that's another thing I found out. This Saunders is the brother of our sheriff. Brother? What do you mean? Well, that makes it look mighty bad for both of them. I'll tell you that. They must have got away during the night, and they must have help, too, because the jail's no help. It's over. Oh, who was only one man who could have let him out, and that's his brother, the sheriff. How much are we going to stand for this? Goodbye. Travis has incited the townspeople against you. I'll handle it. You can't handle it. They mean business. Men, this town will never be safe until we can run them out of it. Come on. Well, let's go run it. Well, I know this plan will work. It looks like the only way out. Well, the horses are out back. Let's hurry. Come on. Come on, boys. The door is barred. Bring it down. Hey, hold on. Get up. Find it. This is our one big chance. While they're taking care of corners, we'll get the boys and clean out the town. You start the herd on the way, and we'll head straight for the border. Find the senator, Chile? Not yet, Tex. Don't look like we'll ever find him. Oh, he must be around here someplace. Come on. Tex tells me you recognize two of those trail jumpers in the saloon. One of them was the man who killed Pop Hart. Why didn't you arrest him when he was in town? Well, I thought it best to let Tex play his hand out and get the ringleader. Well, if I'm not mistaken, here comes Tex now. It is. We've been hunting you fellas high and low. When Chili and I got out of jail, we, we, we did a little snooping. Travis tipped his hand when he tried to pin Pop Hart's murder on me. Right now, he and his gang are cleaning up the whole town. They're going to get Pop Hart's herd and head for the border. How do you know? We heard Travis giving orders to his men. We got the goods on them, Ed. That's right for town. We got to have help. Tex? I once told you if you ever needed help, you could call on Senator Black. But we sure are needing it now. And you're getting it now. How about it, Carson? what you asked for. Come on, Tex. We're taking Travis and his gang right now. Tex! Take cover!
We've been trailed.